Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Hope you are doing well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I will answer the question, what's the difference between software engineering and project management? So if you are looking for a quick answer, you have to know that both of software engineering and project management are a process. So for uh, the software engineering process, this process is all about the development, the, the operation and the maintenance of a software. So it focuses on the technical aspects related to software development. Why the software management process is not concerned at all about the technical aspects and Instead of this, it focuses on the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to project activities in order to meet uh, project requirements. So depending on the companies and on the roles who uh, perform this kind of uh, processes, uh, those processes uh, are maybe uh, performed separately. So they may be disjointed or uh, they may be partially in, intersected or they may be seen as one is another uh, subset of the other one. So now if you want a more detailed answer to the question, uh, I tried here to, uh, to detail each uh, process by highlighting uh, the phases of each uh, process and uh, the deliverables. Uh, of each phase. So for the project management life cycle or process, uh, it's uh, mainly composed of four uh, activities or phases. The first phase is the initiation phase. Uh, the second phase is the planning phase. The third phase is the, the execution phase. And the last phase is the close out phase. So for the del deliverables now, for the initiation phase, mainly we deliver the project charter, the communication plan, an initial project plan, and an initial project plan. For the planning uh, phase, we deliver mainly the project scope plan, the schedule, budget, uh, 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 detailed risk management plan, and a quality uh, assessment, quality control procedure. For the execution phase now, uh, this phase mainly delivers an updated schedule bud and budget, a quality control results, a change control logs, etc. And at the closeout uh, phase, we mainly uh, p deliver a project assessment, uh, a project assessment doc or a project a assessment report. Now for the software engineering life cycle, so this life cycle or this process is mainly composed of five main activities, namely the requirement gathering phase, the design phase, the construction phase, the integration and testing phase, and the deployment phase. So for deliverables of each phase now, for the requirement gathering phase, so at the end of this phase, we deliver the business requirements, the logical data model, and a functional specification. At the design phase, we deliver the system architecture, the software prototypes, a technical and a technical specification. For the construction now, we deliver system models, unit test results, user manual, and software documentation. And for the integration and testing phase, we deliver at the end of this phase an integration and system test results. So now if we want to align uh, those phases, we notice that we cannot, uh, so for both initiation and planning phase, we cannot finish, uh, uh, we cannot deliver uh, an initial plan, an initial uh, uh, communication plan or project plan or an, uh, a project charter before uh, finishing the requirement gathering. So logically, the initiation phase of the project management lifecycle aligns well with the requirement gathering. 
the same situation for planning and design. So we cannot develop uh, a detailed project scope, a detailed baseline a schedule or budget, a detailed risk management plan before finishing the design and before delivering all those uh, deliverables. Uh, now for the alignment of the rest of phases, so the execution phase aligns well with the construction, integration, and testing, and deployment phase. And this because we cannot generate an updated schedule budget, and we cannot obtain the quality control results and a change control log before finishing all those phases and deploying the software. And the project and after finishing all those uh, phases of the software engineering life cycle we came back to close out the 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 the, the project uh, the project and deliver a project assessment so this alignment is not standard it depends on the company depends on the the project manager the software engineer and uh, especially on the the, the used uh, uh, software engineering life cycle uh, so thanks a lot uh, for watching hope that this video answer well the question of uh, what's the difference between software engineering and uh, project management Thanks a lot. Please don't hesitate to like, to share my content, to comment if you have any suggestion or any question, and please encourage me by subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.